All right, I just drew a wild card. This is John Paulus, and you're listening to Life's Potluck Buffet. In the Life's Potluck Buffet deck, there are three wild cards. There are 55 cards in total. 52 of them have numbers on them, and three of them are labeled as wild cards, where the numbers go on the bowl uh, in the right-hand corner of the card. Instead, you'll see the words wild card. This wild card is the suit of magenta noodles. That's how we call these magenta colored squiggly lines. And since it's a buffet, the, all of the all of the suits that have food names. And I explained about the blue dumplings before, and so this is the first time I'm talking about the magenta noodles. And in addition to the magenta noodles, this card has a seven-pointed star, which is the life's hot luck star. It is also the star that you will see on the shipping line uh, that is featured on the website and in the Recipes for Success guidebook. And if you want the Recipes for Success guidebook, just go to lifespotluck.com and sign up as a site member. It's free and the guidebook is free and it gives you a sense of interesting and creative ways to use the cards in groups as an individual. And that Recipes for Success book also contains fun ways to use the cards as quick icebreakers in a meeting or to use the cards to make a quick decision about, say, something that you're going to have for dinner. That's on the back of the, uh, the last page of the guidebook. The three wild cards also correspond to the three Life's Potluck Buffet rules, and those are cards... 3, 31, and 52. You see the last three numbers are 1, 2, and 3. 3, 31, 52. And those are rules numbered 3, 1, and 2. Each one of those cards has the corresponding number of stars on it. So if it's rule number 1, which we've already talked about in a previous episode, it has one star on it. And if it's rule number two, it is two stars, and rule number three is three stars. This wild card just has the one star on it, so it corresponds to Life's Potluck Buffet rule number one, which is get people's names right. What this wild card is about is taglines. And I'll read you the card. The card says, Life's Potluck Buffet, it's about what you bring to it. And that is the tagline for Life's Potluck Buffet that you'll see on each deck of cards on the box. And the prompt says, say a tagline like this for another product, an organization, or anything else. What do you find to be interesting about it? All right, so just think for a moment and think about taglines you know. And taglines are, you know, these short little sayings that go after a brand name. So, again, we have here, Life's Potluck Buffet, it's about what you bring to it. So, think about the first tagline that pops to mind. What did you think of? I think I thought of Toyota's tagline, or a Toyota tagline, in Toyota Car Company tagline, I love what you do for me. And that I love what you do for me tagline is one from, I guess it maybe his late 80s, early 90s, that Toyota was using as a little jingle. And I think that I'm reminded of it because the contours of the Life's Pilot Buffet tagline, it's about what you bring to it. I love what you do for me. It's not, they, they kind of jingle to me. So there's that resonance. And I think that's why I thought about it. I think also I was recently reading a biography of a Japanese businessman from the 80s. And so I think also I had Japan on my mind and Japanese businesses. What type of biographies do you like to read? I find that I, I like to read ones that have to do with 
Well, I think this is no coincidence. I feel like I like to read ones that have advice I could use in my life and good stories. And so, you know, it's kind of really in line with the whole Life's Potluck buffet concept. They, each card has a piece of advice and it prompts you to think of a good story that you know. That's kind of the fun thing about the, the cards, and it has a lot to do with this tagline, too. The tagline is, is it's about what you bring to it. That relates to the, that relates to the concept of the potluck. If, if you're not familiar with the idea of a potluck, it's a meal, usually a dinner, where each guest brings um, a dish that either they've made or if they're, if they're not um, great cooks or in a hurry, uh, you know, maybe they, they bought it at a, at a uh, store. And that idea of it being about what you bring to it is in the concept of potluck. And the buffet part of Life's Potluck Buffet relates to the variety of the cards, right? Because a buffet represents a variety of dishes in the same way that a, a smorgasbord or a meze. Those are two that I'm familiar with, so I'll just put those out there. What is this called in your experience? If you have a particular name for a, a meal that involves a great variety of dishes that people can choose from, put that in the comments if you have... Uh, such a thing. Uh, for a lot of cultures, it's just called a meal. That covers potluck and buffet. The life part, well, that's what life's potluck is about. It's about you. What you bring to this buffet are all of those stories that you have, all of your experiences, all of your choices, all of your preferences. I really like the way that that idea, the concept of life's potluck buffet, encompasses, in a fun way, everything that we do in life, because that's what the cards are about. What tagline did you think of? Let me know in the comments. So the card is not about saying our own personal taglines. By having it be something other than your own personal tagline, it, it being a tagline that's not so closely connected to you, so to speak, it really allows you to explore an idea that came to mind for you that is probably important in some way. Even if at first glance you might think, well, it was just the thing I said. And in seeking an answer to why was that important to me, the question has new importance. You've given it importance. And that's really the idea behind, behind all of these cards is that there are Things that at first glance, we might think, oh, that's nothing, that's trivial, that's meaningless. We're thinking about these things as having real meaning for us. And by searching for that meaning, we discover things that we've never discovered before. If you enjoyed this very special wildcard episode of Life's Potluck Buffet, then please subscribe and if you enjoyed the content of the wild card itself, please head on over to lifespodluck.com and pick up a pack today. And while you're at it, sign up for free to get your free copy of Recipes for Success, a guidebook to using Life's Potluck Buffet at your Life's Potluck Buffet. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.